Okay, this is a great example of how not to build custom hooks in React. So here we have this use get post custom hook, which is meant to be reusable, right? And here it receives some arguments, which at first glance look like filters, but unfortunately they are not. Instead of being filters, these are actually properties that relate to completely different pages and completely different entities. Because if you look over here inside of this hook, we have this function get posts, which checks if we have a tag. And if we do, it is going to hit this endpoint over here. If we have bookmarks, it is going to hit this different endpoint over here. And then if we have username, it is going to hit this endpoint over here. These are different endpoints for different entities. And then over here, if you continue, we have this get query key function, which does a similar thing. It checks all of these props and then returns a different query key based on each of those props. And finally, we're putting all of these things here in the use infinite query hook, which we are returning as the result value of this custom hook. This is bad, and this is what we call to reusable. I get why the developer did it this way, because at the end of the day, we're always going to be fetching some sort of post, but you should not put all of these different things into one hook just in the name of making it reusable. Instead, you should have three separate hooks, one to fetch the post by a username, so for a given user, one to fetch the post based on specific tags, and then one to fetch the posts that have been bookmarked. These are separate pages, they are different things, and they belong in separate hooks.